today's virtual maths lesson. Um, today we're going to be recapping on the grid multiplication method that we've done in class. So the first question I'd like you to have a go at is 23 times 13. Um, and this one I will model it for you and then we're going to have some at home that you can try by pausing the video. So for this first bit we're going to draw the grid method. So we put our multiplication sign in the top left hand corner and we start by partitioning each number. So here we have 20 and 3 and 10 and 3. Okay, and we're going to start with this far corner by looking at 3 times 3. So let's count in threes together. 3, 6, 9. Okay, and then we can move on to this column, which is 20 times 3. So we can do 3 times 2. We know that that's 6. So 3 times 20 is 60. Okay, and then 10 times 3. We know this with our either our 10 times table or our 3 times table. 10, 20, 30. And then finally, 20 times 10. Well, I know that 2 times 10 is 20, so 20 times 10 gives me 200. And then are we finished? No, we say in class we need to add them up. So we've got 200, add 30, add 60, and add 9. And check your place value columns. Make sure that all those numbers are in the right place. So we've got 9 in this column. 3 add 6, which gives us 9, and 2. So we should have had 299 for that question. Okay, now we're going to try 24 times 16. Now this one will be a bit trickier because it involves some of those times tables that some of us might not be as confident with. So pause the video and have a go yourselves first at home. Okay, hopefully you've had a go. So we'll start by partitioning with our multiplication symbol. We've got 20 and 4 and 10 and 6, okay? So we're going to start off with this corner here where we've got 4 times 6. So you can either count in 4s or you can count in 6s. Let's try in 4s. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, okay? Then we've got 6 times 20. Well, I know that 6 times 2 is 12, so 6 times 20 is 120. Then we've got 4 times 10, so again, we can either count in 4s or count in 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40. And then finally, 20 times 10. Well, I know that 20 times 1 would be 20, so 20 times 10 is 200. And then you add all of those up. So 240, 120, and 24. And then if you add all those columns up, you should have had 384 for that question. Okay, so it's getting a bit trickier now, guys. We're moving on to three digit numbers now. So we're going to have a go at 356 multiplied by four. And it's exactly the same method, you just partition the numbers. So pause the video now and have a go yourselves first. Okay, hopefully you've had a go. So we'll put our multiplication symbol up there first. So we should have 356 and then the four on its own over there. So we'll start with four times six. This time let's count in sixes. Six, 12, 18, 24. Okay, then we have 50 times four. Well, I know that five times four is 20, so 50 times four is 200. Okay, and then 300 times four, I know that three times four is 12, so 300 times four is 1,200. Okay, and then if we add all of those together, oh, that should I undo that, and 200. Okay, and then we've got four, two, four, one. Uh, so you should have 1,424 for that one. 